Miyari, usaka saka bo, hola y buenos dias, hi and good day. Uh, turns out from the last video that I recorded that my uh, friend wasn't waiting around for, for me. Um, she did send me a couple of messages to kind of give me a, a quick rundown of, of the game so I had an idea of what I was getting into. Um, but she's doing the responsible adult thing of being at work right now. Um, and I'm, I'm not at work today. I don't have to be at work today. So I'm going to play some more. Um, let me get Steam open. And in just a minute, we should have Wakfu back open. And I didn't initially realize it, but you can have multiple characters in the game. It means that um, I'm going to probably change the name of this character that I start off with. Um, and uh, back here. Go stay in this server. See, there's my character. She looks awesome. I'm going to change her name, though. But yeah. Yeah. And then I can, I can do what? One, two, three, four. So I guess I'm going to be able to have one character for each element because my understanding is that you know um there's elemental characters and stuff like that so i eventually change her name can't change it to phoenix because phoenix was already taken um but i'm probably gonna pick a, a taino word and what's the next thing i gotta do so one thing she did tell me that i didn't realize um Cause she, it's one thing to have the, like when the game explains something to you, and it's another thing to have like a real. Um, not that this doesn't have visual aids or that they're fake visual aids, but like she's showing me on her screen where to find things or whatever instead of like a general, you know, this is the shortcut and blah blah blah. So on this map, there's me. So I know where Huli is. I know. I'm going to go for other stuff. So he's one of the people I'm supposed to talk to, right? I'm pretty sure Huli is one of the people I'm supposed to talk to. Celestial Island Debris, 1 through 10. So let me get out of here. And now I know that I need to go this way. I need to stay away from that guy, though, because that is a rodent that will definitely kick my ass. Okay, cool, she auto jumps. That's good to know. Am I in the right spot? Hooby, there we go. Yes, this is who I need to talk to. So I'm assuming these are um, gods, according to what my friend said. So, some kind of any deep saw ghost addresses you excitedly. Hey there, I haven't seen you around before. Are you a newly incarnated Sadita? I'm Hooby, by the way. Cool. Nice to meet you, Hulu. Yes, that's right. I only just reincarnated. It's kind of confusing. I don't totally understand what's happening to me. Real. Hmm, the incarnation process can be complicated. Even though I've spent plenty of time here, I'm not confident about it myself. It makes sense that you feel a bit lost. Should I start over from the beginning? I wouldn't mind a refresher. A soul never dies, even when separated from its physical shell. When our souls leave their vessels, they are drawn to a huge stream of wakfu that flows in Incarna, and then they reincarnate. We lose the memories of our previous life in that moment. Whether you were a king or a baker in your previous life, you start over from the same point once in Incarna. That's amazing, but then what are you? Mm -hmm. Alas, my ghost of form hides a tortured soul that's never managed to incarnate. That's why I'm dedicated to guiding souls as they seek incarnation. I want them to get the best advice for the rest of their adventure. Okay, so not a god, a ghost. Cool, cool, cool. Then where are we? We are on the celestial island of Ree. This island is located between Incarnum, where you came from, and the world of Twelve. You'll find other souls to converse with and other incarnates like yourself. Other incarnates? I'm not the only one who's fallen before. 
who leave chuckles quietly. Yes, new souls do fall here, although it's pretty rare. There must be something special about you. Most people use this place to train in Arena's Dojo, which you'll find to the east. Some even decide to stay here instead of adventuring. That explains it. Wait, did you say I was a new Sadida earlier? Each soul can choose whatever class they want. It's a matter of choosing what deity they want to be a disciple of. You previously chose to be an actual Sadida. That choice isn't permanent. As for me, I can change your class for free up to level 30. Just come see me if you feel like doing so. Thanks for your help, Huli. I'll check out the rest of the island and come back if I need to. Y'all see the spelling discrepancy? Yeah. Okay, so that was talk to Huli. And now I have to find Otomai and Irina. So what is this? Sadida, Kra, High Up, Iniripsa, Pika Blip, Zelor, Sreth, Inutra, Osamoras, Becca, Pepper Mage, Heliotrope, Buggernaut. Uginok, Masquerader, Rogue, Pendawa, Scryer. So, like, will it tell me? Oh, cool. Okay, this is what I want to see. This is what I wish I knew before I selected anything. Warrior who uses the forces of nature and their dolls in combat. Level 2 complexity. Sadidas are specialists at wielding brambles and other forces of nature for healing, defense, and poisoning, but their special talent is crafting dolls, which they use to control the battlefield and harass enemies. Certain spells increase the doll's power. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Alright, we're going this way before. Previous. Okay. Oh, it's, okay, it's so I'm assuming that everything in this book is going to be just about the Sadidas. Alright, the water branch allows the Sadida to inflict a respectable amount of damage on enemies and to heal a single or multiple allies. Sadidas can use the earth branch to inflict damage in an area of effect and hinder enemy movement. It also turns them into an efficient defender who can protect their allies. Air spells mostly cause weak or moderate damage, but also apply secondary effects and poisons to enemies. So there's elementals. That, that's pretty cool. The number of dolls a Sedita can summon will depend on the number of control points. These have different characteristics and effects adapted to each combat situation. The ultra powerful is the Sedita's main doll. It's used to summon all other dolls and has its own area of effect. Attack. The Voo doll. Gee, I wonder what that was inspired by. Uh, the Voodoo is linked to an enemy. All single target attacks to the doll are redirected to the target. Oh, cool. So if something's too far away... Secondary dolls. The Greedy, the most belligerent of the dolls. The Greedy jumps into melee combat and attacks the nearest enemies. The Sacrificial. This doll head heads for the closest enemy and then explodes, causing substantial damage in the surrounding area. The inflatable is a support doll that follows its allies and heals them. Ooh, okay. The mad doll, referring, preferring to keep its distance, the mad doll uses its characteristic screech to reduce enemies' movement points and range. Nice, nice, nice. And then the block. This doll may not have many MP, but its lock is highly impressive, and its sole aim is to stick to enemies and prevent them from moving. Although it doesn't move fast, it has a spell that draws enemies to it. That's cool. I think I'm gonna keep her. I think I'm gonna keep her just like she is, and then the other slots that I have, I'll, you know, uh, tinker around with some of these other character types, right? Because, uh, the craw. I like how it keeps the color theme and hair and everything, even if I change the kind of character. Thank you. 
All right, so we did all that. We're done. We're done. And um, yeah, so we talked to Huli. Automai. I think this is where we can click this. Change class. Place a boss, Celestial Island. Where would class alter? There's Huli. This is where the other chick was, right? So I'm assuming it would be here and here where I would need to go for anyone else because they're the only things that have like a cute little symbol on it. So this is where I'm going to go next, which means to the left, to the left. Go here. Let me go here. Come on, this way, girl. I need to stop playing this game and actually eat. I said I was going to do that earlier, and I did not. I did not. Do I have to go down this way? Okay, apparently I do. Oh, I can't go around that either. Can't just hop over that fence, apparently. So, good to know. Can I not go here? Enter. Okay, I was like, please don't tell me I need another key for this shit. Who are you? You're you're that I was gonna say Gargamel. <laughs> oh, um This is not the Smurfs. I don't think he's any of the he's not someone I have to talk to, right? Guagaloragon. That's his name. Alright, so I don't think there's anything here I can do. Do I have to click on this to leave? Okay. That's why it was blinking. That makes sense. Now let's see if we go to that other area, which was this way. Pretty sure it was this way. It's cool that you can run around though and that unless you initiate a fight, these little rodents don't mess with you. Hold on a second, friend. Oh, dang, you scared me. I thought you were going to run off before I could warn you. You're headed for the zap that takes you off the Celestial Island. You're free to come back whenever you want, but I won't be able to ensure your safety once you've activated it. You'd be in much less danger if you finish your refresher on this island first. Mm -hmm. I won't stop you from leaving, but I'd reconsider if I were you. Yeah, and I'm going to reconsider. I'm going to heed your sage advice and not do that. Um... Maybe it was this way that I was supposed to go. Let's look at the map. Yeah, potentially I'm supposed to go this way. Go inside. Oh, are you somebody I need to talk to? No. No. Arena! You're someone I'm supposed to talk to, though. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. hmm. The Sakrier, who seems to be the dojo master, stares at you. The silence, previously interrupted by the disciples. Katas? Hold on. Wipe the screen. Yeah, Katas is broken after a few moments. Welcome to my dojo, young incarnate. I teach the basics of combat to beginners like you. Interested? I'm interested. I'm a bit rusty, so reviewing the basics would be good. No thanks, I'd rather move on. Well, clearly, with the exclamation point, I gotta have to do that. So perfect, I offer, oh, 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 I offer a few beginner level courses. Let's see what you can do. Uh, I'd like to attend the class on combat position. I want to learn more about elements. I want to learn more about memory and distance. I want to learn more about line of sight. I want to learn more about areas of effect. I want to learn more about movement effects. I want to learn more about combat states. So I think I'm gonna pause here. Actually, I'll come back later. I know where you're at. I found you, friend. Complete the quest principles of combat. Okay, so clearly I'm gonna have to do all those. And then I'm assuming that's not the map. That's not the map that I need to look at. I'm assuming those are like levels in this dim type area. Um, 
Um, I'm gonna make sense why her name is Arena now. Now we're talking. So Hoovy was here, at the top. She was over here, Arena over here on the right. So will the other? Yep. Yep. That's the next. Okay. All right. So I know where to go to find Otomai, which is what I will do when I come back because the girls don't make no big growls so many times before. Before we stop doing it, basically. A few moments later. So Arena is in here, and she is who. She's gonna teach me how to fight. I swear that I don't even have to hold nothing down as the game suggested I needed to do. I could just click to the furthest point and do it like that. It's easier. So I'd like to attend the class on combat positioning. Placement phase. Which way the fighters are facing has an effect on damage inflicted and received. A target attack from the side will take 10% extra damage while a target attack from behind will take 25% extra damage. So that makes sense. You, you want to sneak up on somebody. Their card will be down. So use the arrows below the HP bar to change which way you're facing before skipping a turn. You can also use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Okay. In this exercise, you must hit the Mr. Punchy in the right area of effect to deal maximum damage. So do we want... <laughs> What are we doing? I need to move closer to him though, right? Like. Okay, how come it only shows that to... Oh, okay, the fight hadn't begun yet. I was like, why won't it let me do nothing? So if I hit him here. Is that what she wants me to do? No. It doesn't seem like it. I'm gonna skip turn. It's my turn again. Do I not want to go here? What am I supposed to do? Where is the objective? Uh, facing a boss? Nope, that's not it. Obviously not facing in these directions. We want to face it. Do I have to be right on top of him for it to count? Like, I don't understand. Zero. Oh, so I want to hit him from the side. Okay, okay, I see. Got it, because I didn't do any damage. I'm just now realizing that on the bottom left corner right there, it tells you how much damage you're even inflicting on the on the guy. Now, if I hit him, it's going to... Wait, no, I didn't change position. Yeah. Now we do it. No? Come on. There we go. Gotta be intentional. That's what we're talking about. Okay. And now we need to turn. Damage is increased when attacking from the side and even more so from the back. Hit me in the correct area to complete the exercise. So you want me to hit you from behind, is what I'm assuming is the case. So I'm gonna do like this, because that will be the max amount of damage. Then we're going to turn to face you like that. And then now we're Huh, okay, all right. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Nice. So that's all I had to do for that one? Cool. Now let's do... Let's Principles of combat. Yeah, it wants me to do all of the training things. Huh? Do that one. I want to learn about elements. Yeah, that would be really useful. Spells are categorized in one of four elements, fire, water, earth, or air. Some effects such as damage are based on the spell's element. Elemental masteries provide a boost to damage dealt in their respective elements. Conversely, resistances reduce damage taken in the corresponding element. A fighter's elemental masteries and resistances appear on their character sheet. Cool, 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 cool. In this exercise, you must hit the Mr. Punchy in the right element each turn. Use the shortcut Shift V to show a tooltip about its resistance or right click on it when right click on it to open its fighter sheet okay so this is telling me 
all the elements. It just doesn't say anything specific. So, hit the fight. So we start the fight. And I clearly need to get... Well, I need to hit it. That doesn't tell me... It has no fire resistance, so I'm gonna hit it with that. I'm gonna hit it with fire. Kill it with fire! It's important to pay attention to the opponent's elemental resistances. Hit me in the right element to complete the exercise. But it's not telling me. I see here, this creature cannot be captured. Okay, cool. So I need to hit it with... It has no... I'm assuming that it, it, its weakness is water. Is that not the case? At least this isn't timed. Okay, that worked. Oh, I have to change the turn. Okay. Now it's my turn again. This time I need to hit it with some earth. Some earth tones. There we go. Okay. And then we end the turn. I can't move. And now we want to hit it with the fire again. Right? Yes. Yes. Nice. Okay, we did pretty good. I don't know who you are, guy. I'm just gonna talk to a arena again. How can I help you? We are going to do. I want to learn more about melee and distance. Okay. So placement phase. A target is at a distance or ranged if located three or more cells from the caster. The target is in melee range if located two or fewer cells from the caster. So that makes sense. In this exercise, you must alternate between ranged and melee attacks to deal damage to the Mr. Pachi. Okay, so. Let's do this. First, let's see. It has no resistance. Do you tend to charge straight in, or are you the cautious type? Hit me from the right distance to complete the exercise. So this green stuff, to me, would indicate that I can punch you. You? Can I not punch you? Why won't it let me? It's not letting me do anything. None of these are lit up. Do you tend to charge straight in? Now? Can I hit you? Can I hit you now? I'm I am confusion. Well, I guess I'm supposed to hit you with this. That's the only thing I can Okay, you want me to get out of the way. I see what you're trying to get me to do. Okay. I don't understand. Mr. Punchy, okay. Alright, Mr. Punchy, I see you. But I'm not close enough to you. I hit you now? Am I supposed to hit you with something else? That's that. This is what. You're not clear enough for me. Okay. Change turns. I don't understand. It's only letting me do close range. It doesn't matter. I just hit you close range every time. It says zero neutral. I feel dumb. I'm real dumb. That's... So you want me to use a spell but just be in a different location? Is that all it is? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, yeah, that's what it was. 
Because I, th I thought for some reason that when I was close, I needed to punch him. When I was further away, I needed to use a magic spell. But it just it, it just wanted me to use the same thing no matter what. Um, and just change where I am on the board, basically. Hmm. Hmm. I want to learn more about line of sight. Line of sight determines whether you have an unobstructed view of a target. If there is an obstacle between you and the target, you don't have line of sight and you can't perform any actions on the target. Okay. Some spells do not require line of sight. In this exercise, you must find a line of sight to teach to reach Mr. Punchy. Each time you hit it, the obstacles change position and you need to find another line of sight. Okay. So that means I gotta move like here, and then I can hit him. Am I not close enough? Is that is that the problem? Turn and face him. I, I'm I'm hitting. I'm oh, because the thing isn't lit up. I don't understand. See, when it's blue like this, do I need to be in the blue spot for it to count? Maybe that's what it is. I'm too close. I'm too close to him. Is it here? I genuinely... Hit him now? Can I actually punch his ass? Punch Mr. Punchy! Let me punch him! I definitely have it selected. But it looks like I can only. I'm not understanding clearly what I'm supposed to be doing here. This is frustrating. Like, it shouldn't matter. It should not matter, right? Can I hit him now? Because I'm not facing him? Like, I, I do not understand. No, it's gonna change. It's gonna change. I, I am... Obstacles block the line of sight. Cast spells from me. Find line of sight. And hit me. Okay, I get that part. I get that part. But I can't hit you from. It's not letting me hit you. I don't like this game though. No real stupid. Once I figure it out, I'm gonna be like, oh. Oh. Like, do I have to stay away from him and, and then be? Like, I'm just not understanding. Will that let me hit you now? Will you let me hit him now? Yeah. Why did that not work before? What was different between what I just did? I'm aware that obstacles block the line of sight. Muñeca. Ahora me tienen harta. Like, it didn't give me the option to see. It gave me the option to hit him before. Now it doesn't. It stays. Do I need to be in front of him? Like, do I have to be in front of him? Is that... I'm clicking the button, right? But it doesn't let me hit him. And there's nothing blocking the way. There's no reason for it to not attack. For it not to do what I want it to do.
basically saying I'm not in the line of sight, but there's nothing in the way. See? I have to find a position where it will let me attack him. See, from here I can attack him, because that's blue. So I, can fig I figured that much out, but what I'm not understanding is why... We, at least we're getting it. We're making, we're making progress. You know, fuck it. We're making progress. Blah, blah, blah. Progress. So it just wants me to... I don't understand. It was doing that before. Ahora no puedo. Now... So I just gotta keep hitting him. Cause once once it once the thing moves, I wonder if it's because of what's blocking it. Like I can't go from this angle or this angle. It has to be. <sighs> no comprendo. Like, do I have to be in one of the blue spots? Okay, apparently I have to be in one of the blue spots. Okay, okay, whatever. So if I go here, click here, no me deja. If I go here, no, I need to be here. See, he heals up every time I think I gotta find, so I just gotta find a spot and hit him mercilessly. Like, I don't understand. I know I'm gonna feel real dumb. I think we are getting... No! Fuck! I hate this game! Oh, I'm getting so mad. Where's the timer on this thing? That's what I want to know. Like, where, where is the timer on this bitch? You're just gonna start over. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna go right here. No, shit. Start over. <laughs> Click this to know where to go. Click that. Click here. I can hit him from there. Hit. Right. Then I walk here. No me deja. Here. I don't know what. I don't. I do not understand what difference some of this shit makes. As far as like why I can hit him in certain spots but not others. Not fast enough to move. He <laughs> goes to the last freaking hit. Hallelujah! Puneta. That was annoying. That, <laughs> that was annoying, and I don't understand. Because there are certain spots you can stand in, and you're technically in the line. Or is it just like, I. I don't fully really understand. I really don't. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so that means we're not going to have internet because we're upgrading the fiber in this bitch. Um, I want to learn more about areas of effect. Some effects are triggered on multiple cells at once. This is an area of effect. As you select from available cells when casting the spell, the area of effect is shown in red. Interesting. A spell's area of effect is indicated in the spell description. In this exercise, you must hit all the Mr. Punchies at once to deal damage to them. To do this, select the appropriate spell and cast it on the right cell. Okay.
but it doesn't tell you. Oh, because I haven't started the fight yet. Okay. This looks like it's gonna hit all of it, right? Got him. Alright. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in here. I don't think that one will work. This one was the one that had the, 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 the yeah, this one's the circle. Mm -hmm. That was much easier. So just, now I know when you click a spell, it'll tell you where it can and can't go. And just use that with the line, the same as the line of effect. Like it doesn't matter where you think you should be able to hit from. The spell will tell you where it absolutely can and cannot hit from. Just go by that. Just go by that. <laughs> I want to learn more about movement effects. Okay. Other fighters can be moved using certain effects such as pushback, altercation, attraction. Girl, that does not say altercation. Attraction or teleportation. For example, the two cell pushback moves the caster's target two cells away. In this exercise, use the movement tools at your disposal to place the Mr. Punchy on the green glyph so it'll take damage. The glyph changes position each time it's activated. Okay, so but what do I do for the pushback, though? I don't want to be there. I want to push him there, right? Do I want to track you to here? No. Does that mean, no, see, I think what it means is I need to stand. No? What am I supposed to do? I can't, it's not letting me move. I just end my turn, fuck it. It's gonna be my turn no matter what I do. So if I do the pushback on him, what does that do? It just pushes him back twice? Okay, but I need to be able to push him the other way. Jump. Okay, see, pero no me deja. I genuinely don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. My character cannot move, and I have to push him to here, but I can't do that because he's in front of me, not next to me. I can't walk around. No me deja. Can't do that either because it's blacked out. Oh. Do I need to just face this way? Is that is that what needs to happen? Let's see. No, it's gonna push him. Doesn't matter what direction I'm facing, right? I feel like I'm making it worse every time I do this. <laughs> Testing the theory. Yeah, so I need to push him here. I need to bring him closer to me. There we go. Okay, I pull him closer. Come closer. Come closer. And I just can't help it. Don't know Okay. So I can keep doing this because <clears throat> and then that's not gonna do nothing. And I can't move my character for nothing at all. I do the pushback facing. Oh, is do I have to click it where I want it to go? Attract you to this cell. I 
don't, I don't get it. I, gen I genuinely do not understand. Because I can't move my character. It doesn't, and it doesn't matter which way I face. Fuck, man. Okay, if I put, is it gonna reset now? Is it gonna put you all the way back over there? It's important to know how to move around and move other fighters. Place me on the green cell to complete the exercise. Okay, I am trying to move around. Okay? This, it's not giving me the option to go anywhere. I literally cannot do anything. And I clearly need to be on the other side of you, either next to you or behind you, and I can't do that. Oh, <laughs> look at that shit. Look at that shit. Okay. But if I push you back, you're gonna go over here. Now what? Now what is the bitch supposed to do? Because I can switch places with you, but pushing you back is just going to put you in the other direction. It's not going to... If I push you, you're going to go that way. That ain't going to help nobody. Teleports to a cell. Well, I would have been just teleported your ass to this cell. I don't like this. Or do I have to teleport you to this cell? I get it. Okay. My trans. Okay. It teleports me. Okay. It. Where exactly where you just. getting it now. It took a minute. Now I just push you. Push! Alright. I can do like this. Face you. Restart, I guess. And then attract your ass. Come on! matter. I don't necessarily need to be facing you. Okay, some of this shit's like really stupid. In my opinion, but I mean, it's good that I learned this shit. It's good that I learned this shit. That is the whole point of training thing. Now I know I can do certain things. I did not know I could do that before. Alright. I want to learn more about combat states. Okay. Fighters may be affected by states. These are effects of varying duration. Your character states appear at the top of the screen. You can view another fighter states on their character sheet. In this exercise, the active state on the Mr. Punchy tells you what you need to do. Check the Mr. Punchy state on its fighter sheet. Right click on the dummy to open it and look through the states. But I don't understand what it's telling you to do. And, oh, is it telling you to like, I don't know what that symbol, that circular like recycling symbol looking thing is. 
see. Yeah, you're telling me shit. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, because I have to take this. All right, so what does that mean? Green thumb. You have to be aware of your opponent's states. Follow the actions required by my state to complete the exercise. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must attack him from a green cell. Okay, so I need to move here. Hit this, then attack. Gotcha. This is faint hearted. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must end your turn six cells or more away from him. So one, two, three, four. Bet not. Okay. Am I not far enough away from his ass? Like. One, two, three, four. I guess not. Where the fuck am I supposed to go, though? Okay. You know what? We don't care. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must end your turn adjacent to him. Okay, I need to end my turn. Gotcha. I didn't end my turn in the last one. I was away from him, but I hadn't ended the turn. I just stood there. To inflict damage on Mr. Punchy, you must attack him from a red cell. Okay, so go here. And then we hit attack. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure the reasoning for the other one was right, though, because I will have to review. We'll, we'll review the tape to see. Um... Let's see if I talk to her now. What's it gonna do? I did ex. Yep, I did everything. Okay. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. So I have a better understanding of, like, all the fighting. I guess. And now I'm about to go to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save here because the AT&T guy is here and I'm soon not going to have any internet, which means I won't be able to play this game. And I'd rather it not cut off on, on me in the middle of doing something, so. Yep. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Resume game. What's that? Display abilities. And I wouldn't even know about this if it wasn't for my friend and my sister who told me what to do. Now I can actually give myself more health points and stuff like that, but it only gives you a couple. Elemental resistant barrier heals. Percent heals received. And percent health, armor health points. I feel like this would make, this would probably be the best thing to do so I don't maybe die so quick. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, we'll, we'll worry about that later. We will worry about that later. Where are we going to quit? Yes, I'm sure I want to. And I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.